everyone. I'm glad you're here. Thank you so much for joining me today. I appreciate all of you that have helped support my work, have subscribed and shared my videos. Thank you. I'm Mary with Mary Greeley News and this weekend we're going to have the Leonid Meteor Shower which comes from the constellation of Leo. It's going to be cold out there. Yeah, I was out there earlier today. It was 28 degrees this morning watching the squirrels and all their antics. Yeah, they're spoiled. I cracked open the walnuts for them. Froze my buns off. When I came in after about an hour, my feet were frozen. My uh, <laughs> tail end was frozen from sitting on the sidewalk. And my hands were cold. So it's going to be cold, at least for me, to sit out to watch uh, this weekend's meteor shower. About every 33 years, uh, the Leonid has a spectacular viewing. It comes from uh, the asteroid uh, Temper Tuttle, I believe. But if you have clear skies and maybe a little bit warmer location, you might see about 15 shooting stars an hour. It is recommended that you go outside around midnight. As I said, about every 33 years, they put on a fairy display. And the last time this happened was in 2002. So we got a few years to wait until that happens again. I don't know if these sightings of a fireball were any way associated with it. But last night, there was 92 reports of a fireball seen over British Columbia, Oregon, and Washington. On Twitter, there was a post from Rogue Bear. It says, seen a fireball in the sky over Michigan about 6.40 a.m. this morning. Pretty cool. Wonder if it was a meteor or satellite burning up on re-entry. Yeah, good question. Another Twitter post says, today we drove out to an area further away from the city and we watched a meteor shower. i never seen a shooting star before tonight. It was so cool. I never want to stop looking away from the sky. This one report that came from British Columbia last night. Uh, let's see, what did they say? From left to down right. And what was the color? Light blue. Cool. Said it had a glowing streak. Another report from British Columbia said it was very bright. And the color was orange and yellow. A report from the state of Washington said the color was light yellow. This too is from the state of Washington. It was directly over my head. When I first saw it, it continued towards the west, but went below the tree line. It was over um, a lake, which I'm not going to try and just be able to say the name. I'll just butcher it. And that's where they lost sight of it. Let's see. A white turned to green as it got lower and there was no sound evidently another report from the state of washington said the color was light yellow and there is a whole cluster of people here um, i'll have to zoom it in a little bit here there is one video that was posted and it does look bluish green to me in the video Long Beach, Long Beach, Washington said, uh, I've never seen so many blues and yellows in a falling star. It looked very solid. Well, it was a fireball. Could have been made up of iron. Uh, color was blue, light blue, yellow, and white. Another report from Washington. I've seen a lot of meteor showers. This one lasted the longest from just before straight overhead to the northwest horizon with the longest whitish tail I've ever seen. Recently, I've seen reds and greens in long ones. This one was very silver white. I hadn't thought about this link for a very long time, but this is a site where you can listen to meteors and see them as they come in. See the little dots here? Um, they picked this up from uh, coordinating uh, radio waves, radio towers, and I'll give you a link to this because sometimes there's fairly large things that come across. You can see um, the time. Um, now this would probably be universal time because it's not 4.37 p.m. It's currently 
Central Daylight Time. Um, but they also evidently have a YouTube page that you can uh, watch the meteors as they come in. It'll leave um, a streak on here. I don't know if it's going to show it while I'm talking here. Let me pause this for a minute. Right now it looks like just little ones, but it's not supposed to peak, I guess, because of the direction of the Earth until about midnight. Um, but this is LiveMeteors.com and um, it also comes with sound and the larger the meteor, the uh, brighter. Like when I just went on to this side, it showed that one or several of them that were small, but they were in red. So you might want to check them out to watch this and listen to it tonight at the peak, maybe midnight. That way you don't have to go outside and freeze your buns off. See, there's one right there. Right there. Yeah. Um, next time I go out, I think I'm going to get my winter boots out with that are fleeced lined. Yeah, because when I came in today after feeding the squirrels, oh my goodness, my feet were cold. Yeah, they were cold. So anyways, yeah. You can do a Google search how to find the constellation of Leo. This looks like the Milky Way. I may be wrong. But it's one of the largest constellations in the night sky. Here's another image after doing a Google search. Yeah, it kind of looks like the Milky Way. I don't know. So I might go out there for a little bit. It's not that dark here where I live. And I'm not going to hop in the car and drive out to some place. Um, yeah, maybe if I went with family. But they're all working. So, yeah. Um, yeah, I hope you have clear skies so you can watch for it. Maybe make a family outing with that. Yes, yeah, so what are your thoughts? Are you going to go out and watch for it? And what would be your favorite location in your area to go watch the night skies for the meteor shower? Please put that down below. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for sharing. Thank you for your support. Please stay safe and I'll talk to you later. God bless you. Bye. Thank you.